Welcome to Homo Studios Python for Beginners series. We're going to go back to our average test score exercise and this time we're going to incorporate some of our conditional statements that we learned about in previous videos into this exercise so we can display a letter grade. And we'll keep building on this exercise as we continue to learn more about Python. In VS Code I have a file open called gradescounterconditional.py the names keep getting longer but just to refresh your memory from the last time that we worked on this we created counters variables that basically started at zero and counted up as we entered grades. We had one for our test score total, one for our possible points total, one for tests so we could keep track of how many tests we had, and even test numbers so that when we say enter test one, two, three, or four, it had a number on it so we knew which one it was. So we had four counters on there that incremented and we had two inputs, one for test score and one for possible points, and then we kind of added them up, incremented them as we went, and we put everything in a for loop so we could enter four grades. Now eventually we'll change that and use a while loop so we can enter as many grades as we want and stop whenever we want. And at the end of this we had some calculations that just figured out an average and we also rounded it to get a percentage. And one thing we're going to do in this video is just add a letter grade. And this will be pretty simple. This won't take that long but eventually we're going to add some kind of validation code in here with if-else statements so that if someone doesn't enter a number correctly or they don't enter anything or they enter a string instead of a number. We'll deal with that later but right now we're going to output a letter grade. To start off I'm just going to put a statement here and it's just going to say letter grade earned and we're going to have a variable called letter grade. Now I'm going to comment this out right now. We'll show you the last version of this code and just run through it real quick just so you remember what it did. We entered a test score so let's do like out of 10 points. So I'll do 9 out of 10 and then a second one came up I'll do 8 out of 10 and then a third one I'll do 7 out of 10 and then the last one I'll do 6 out of 10. So this should come out to about a 75 percent based on 9 through 6 out of 10. So when I hit enter now it gives me average grade of four tests is 75 percent and all we're going to add to this is just a grade which would be an A, B, C, D, or F. We're not going to do minus grades and plus grades just for the sake of time. I'm going to get rid of this comment here. Now we're going to need a variable called let grade. We don't have that yet and what we'll do, we'll do it before we print everything out. So I'm just going to go right in between here and I'll just say letter grades just to kind of create an area that I know I'm going to be doing that and we're going to use if else statements and we're just going to say if and we have to use grade so we have to look here and say that our grade would be our percentage so if grade and for the first condition it's going to be greater than equal to 90 to be an A we'll start with an A if grade is greater than or equal to 90 then and now we hit return and an indents then what's going to happen well, we're not going to print something out because we already have a print statement down here. What we're going to do is we're just going to set a variable or sign a variable of let grade so that it could just print out the letter grade no matter what it is. So I'm actually just going to create a variable down here called let grade, and that stands for letter grade, equals, and we'll just use string of A. So this will be an A. So if the grade is greater than or equal to 90, it'll use an A in here. And obviously the rest of this will be pretty simple. The next one we will use an elif and we have to say grade and in this case it has to be less than 89 but it also has to be so if it also has to be we have to use an and logical operator in here we're going to say and and it's going to be greater than or equal to 80 if it's going to be a B so this is going to be our B we're not going to do B pluses and all that kind of stuff so if it's between 80 and 89 actually be less than 90 I'm sorry this would be less than 90 it would be anything less than 90 and it would be greater than or equal to 80 to be a B. And it's good we get this one right because then all the other ones are going to be similar to this. And then we'll just say let grade. So it, what would happen if it's not a 90 it would just it would skip this and it would just say let grade equals a B. So we don't have to worry about setting too many variables here because it will just use the one that it needs. And now I can copy this. This will be simple enough. I'll copy this. I just have to adjust the indent here and this one I'll just change this to be 80 and this will be greater than or equal to 70 so it won't include 80 because it's less than 80 so it would have to be between 79 and this would be 70 so this will be our C so this would be 79 through 70 would be our C grade and then I'll copy this again and this one would be our D grade because it'll be less than 70 it'll be 69 through 60 this will be our D grade 
and then for the last one we don't have to do an elif even though we could we're just going to put else because that's all that's left out of our numbers so that means we don't need a condition we don't have to put grade is less than 60 or anything here because it's anything else that's what else means so then we're just going to do let grade equals f anything not in these ranges will be let grade equals f and so that defines the variable of let grade and it'll put it in there so let's see how this works i have it on auto save so when i see the x there i know it's saved and let's see that works see if we get any errors or anything like that okay and i'm getting elif grade and i have a syntax error in here and it's telling me on line 25 so let's see what i did wrong here elif grade is less than, oh this is actually good that I made this mistake. I would like to say that I did this intentionally, but I didn't because I, I forget to do this too. But when you're putting two, two options with logical operators here, and I mentioned this on a previous video, and you might have caught that as I was doing it, you have to put grade again here. You can't skip putting grade. You have to put the variable name when you're testing these again. Even though it seems simpler, it, it doesn't allow you to do that. So you have to indicate grade here when you use and or or any of those logical operators. So even though it's pointing to the equals, it's really it really means that I left this out. So let's try this again. And now I could start entering my test scores. I'll do the same thing. 9 out of 10. I'll do 8 out of 10. And this should be 75 and it should be a C. And it is. Average rate of four tests is 75%. Letter grade earned is a C. So you could test all these. I'm not going to do all these right now, but you'd certainly want to test all these and make sure that you get an A and a B and a C and a D and an E and an F. Now, one thing we are going to start working towards in upcoming videos is if you don't put in a number, let's say you don't put in a number, you'll get an error. Just for example, if I do this, if I just go to start here and I just don't hit anything, I just hit return and I'm going to get an error. Or what if you put in a letter or something? You'll get an error. So there'll be lots of opportunities for errors. And we want to try and anticipate what the user might put in so that if they don't put in anything, if they don't put in a number, and eventually, if we don't want to do this four times, we might want to put in something so that the user can stop or quit entering grades because maybe they don't have four. Or maybe they have more than four. Eventually, we'll use a while loop instead of a for loop so that we can have it go on for a while until the user actually wants to stop. But th that'll be in upcoming videos. But for right now, all that we accomplished here is we used if else statements. We used if, elif three times and an else. We created a variable that represented the letter grade, and then we just put that letter grade in a output statement. So that's grades counter conditional using our if, elif, and else.